But first tonight, breaking news is Central Florida connection to a story making national headlines tonight. That small plane that crashed in Virginia as fighter jets scrambled to make contact with the pilot after it flew over restricted airspace in the nation's capital. Good evening to you. I'm Eric Von Anken. Glad you're with us tonight. Officials have not said who was on board or why the pilot was unresponsive, only that there is no sign of survivors and people on the ground were alarmed by the sonic booms from the fighter jets following that plane. Now we're learning the plane's registered owner is based in Brevard County. News 6's Catherine Silver is in the newsroom with the latest tonight. Online records show the plane was registered to Encore Motors of Melbourne. We've tried to reach the president of that corporation and our calls have gone unanswered. The Washington Post did make contact with the owner, a man who identified himself as John Rumpel. He told their reporter he believes his daughter and granddaughter were on board, but he did not share any other information about the crash during their brief phone conversation. Aviation records show the path of the plane flying over Virginia Sunday afternoon towards Long Island, where it turned around and went right through the nation's capital. The North American Aerospace Defense Command says F-16 fighter jets were sent out to the unresponsive Cessna, who made attempts to establish contact with the pilot until the aircraft crashed near the George Washington National Forest. Many in the D.C. area heard what sounded like an explosion, sharing their thoughts on Twitter and then videos of the sonic boom caught on camera. A sound caused by military jets responding at supersonic speeds to intercept the plane. U.S. officials say they did not shoot down that aircraft. Both the FAA and NTSB are now investigating. The NTSB will be leading that investigation. At this point, no additional information has been released about the pilot or why that plane was unresponsive. I'm Catherine Silver, getting results, News 6. All right, Catherine, thank you. Investigators are expected to arrive at the scene tomorrow. As this story continues to develop, we'll bring you the latest updates on ClickOrlando.com and the News 6 mobile app.